It's 841 in this morning's Health Watch. Teenage vaping is on the rise, and that's a big concern for parents who may not know that their teen is even a user. Fox Carolina's Ted Faton is joined by an expert with some things to look out for, including the negative effects on their oral health. Ted, there's a lot to get into here. Yeah, there certainly is, Nicole, something we really want to jump into. I'm here with Dr. Ron Wilson of Greenville Smiles. Thanks hey. for being here today. Oh, thank you. And uh, when we talk about teen vaping, yes, yeah, something that could be very concerning to parents. And of course, the first question that a lot of parents and myself would have is, what are some of the telltale signs that a teen might be vaping? Well, some of the telltale signs is, you know, and I'm coming at this from a parent of a teen's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, you you got to look out for are, um, yeah, are they, oddly enough, do they smell a little different? Yeah. Um, do, they, do, do you note a scent of a sweet smell around them? That could be coming from the sweeteners that are in the, the various different cartridges mm -hmm. um, and vape juices. Uh, the other would be they might carry around a pen or a USB drive that looks a little different. And that's, you know, deep down inside, doesn't want a pen or, you know, a, a USB drive should yeah. look like. Um, they, you may notice that they stop asking you money for Red Bulls and, and, uh, and Starbucks. But, the know, habit changes, right? Right, the habit changes. You know, nicotine's a stimulant, so mm -hmm. they may not need the caffeine like they used to. Or in some cases, you actually have, uh, they develop a sensitivity to caffeine, so they don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then um, they get, if your teen suddenly, after never having nosebleeds, starts getting nosebleeds, yeah, um, that could be an issue. That could that could be a sign. Um, and then just dry mouth, uh, increased thirst, mm -hmm. mouth sores, and a cough that you can't seem to explain for yeah. any other reason. And yeah. things like that. And two, just to be clear, just because some of these symptoms pop up doesn't mean the vaping is the issue. No, but no, those no, could no, be no. Some not, not at all. But I'm just saying if. If you're, you suspect it and you start seeing some of these signs, maybe it's time to have a talk with your yeah. teen. Start asking questions. What are some of the side effects, I mean, in terms of for the teens and in their teeth that they could see if they do start vaping? Well, um, you know, nicotine is a, uh, is a stimulant, so it can cause you to uh, have muscle contractions, which can make it grind your teeth, which is mm -hmm. detrimental to it. Nicotine also decreases blood flow in soft tissues, and then which is, are the gums, basically. Uh, so that can lead to um, uh, receding gums, mm -hmm. gum disease, things like that. Uh, the carrier of most e-cigarettes is something called uh, propylene glycol, which the e-cigarette manufacturers will say, well, oh, it's, it's in it, like rescue inhalers, that's fine. Yeah. However, a rescue inhaler you use once or twice, maybe a day at most, if need be, whereas you know, vapors are, are using it constantly. So that, that acid actually dries up, dehydrates the tissues, yeah. which can lead to lots of cavities, um, dry mouth, mouth sores, um, things like that. Um, and then some of the buttery, more buttery flavors that can actually lead to lung problems. And when that starts to happen, I guess that's ex absolutely the time to start seeing a dentist and all that. Really, yeah. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much. And hopefully parents can keep an eye out for some of those uh, behaviors, the changes and things like that. And uh, of course, we're glad to have you on the show, Nicole. Just something for parents to take note of and maybe have that discussion if they see, notice those behaviors. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that's meant to maybe in the beginning help people stop actually smoking, but there's other issues with this. Great to hear from him about some of those dangers.